This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with an admonition and a warning. Many of you watch these videos for entertainment or for laughs. Hopefully most of you who watch them, my videos and anybody else who is trying to awaken people to the reality of God and everything that's going on in this world in these last days are taking it seriously and are taking heed. Now, hopefully that sentence made sense. Anyway, senior moment. But listen, uh, I think that what a lot of you need to do who haven't quite made that step, you need to jump the room. It's time. It's time out for sitting on the sidelines being a spectator. This is why. There's coming a time in these last days when they're going to start manifesting whatever the system is of the beast. Now, I don't know what form this thing's going to take, but in the last days, we can so easily be charmed. Listen, there's a thing called the spirit of seduction. It comes straight from the pit of hell, has nothing to do with sex. Sometimes it does, but a lot of times it has nothing to do with sex. It's the spirit of seduction, magnetism, that stops a woman from leaving a man who's beating her. Senselessly. That stops a woman from leaving a man that's, that's beating her children. That stops a man from leaving a woman that castrates him in public, puts him down, disrespects him, and verbally abuses and in the house slaps and beats on him. It's called the spirit of seduction. It's the glue that keeps you locked into Satan's abuse. Because Satan is abusing you through these people. Now, the same thing will be happening with this country if you're not careful. Because even in the world, because when the mark of the beast, when the beast starts to manifest, when we start to know who the Antichrist is or what form the Antichrist takes, if you're not in Christ, you will be smitten. <gasps> oh, he's so wonderful. He's going to make everything good for all of the people. But you are going to have to bend over, crack a smile, and let him have access to your butthole and everything about your life, all your rights, all of your opinions, all of your beliefs. Better line up with him or he's going to be your abuser. So you better know now who the lover of your soul really is. It's not going to be the Antichrist. Trust me. It's not going to be the powers that be that say peace and safety. And they smile at you. Smiling faces sometimes. Pretend to be your friend. Smiling faces show no traces of the evil that lurks within. You better watch it. Don't be so easily sucked in by the charms that start to rise out of obscurity into prominence and all of a sudden everybody's looking to this thing to hope in to believe in to trust in these are dangerous times and the bible says even some of the very elect could be fooled the very elect means those that are already in Christ, who know him well. We have got to ask God 
constantly for the spirit of discerning, for the gift from the Holy Ghost of discerning of spirits. So that when anything from the beast comes out, anything spoken, any lie with a smile and that little glistening sparkle on the tooth, that makes our hearts get warm and fuzzy. That something in our spirit will say, Oh no, something's wrong, something's wrong. Not out of fear, but through the gift that the Holy Ghost gives of discerning of spirits. Now, who should you be following? What manner of lifestyle should you be living right now? Because I'm going to tell you this. A lifestyle mixed complacently, mixed with sin, will plug your ears up and you will, and will blur your vision and will desensitize you and you'll be sitting up there looking right at your enemy. <laughs> By the spirit of seduction that is here to kill, steal, and destroy. Don't be sucked in. Focus on the lover of your soul. Focus on that word. Focus in. Zero in through prayer. And constantly ask to be filled with God's Holy Spirit. To open your eyes, ears, spirit, heart, mind, soul. Because you could be getting ready to do something or you could be getting ready to agree or um, as they call it acquiesce or cooperate or whatever with a program that they demand you volunteer you so-called voluntarily get involved in and god may be saying no 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 and you're saying da -da 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 -da. and you i mean like a okay when god warned me going down the street one night I'm making a point. Sounds like I'm dancing all over the place, but I know where I'm going. I heard God's voice tell me to cross the street, cross on the other side. Now, I had no idea what was waiting for me. It was a dog lurking in the darkness, waiting for me to cross right onto his turf so he could tear my behind up. But God warned me. Will you have an ear to hear when God warns you? Don't go for the okie doke. Okay, that's my question. Will you have an ear? And if you don't know, start seeking God now before the lies start infiltrating the atmosphere, slowly sucking you in for the kill.